Hey guys, Vlad here with AVT Astro, and today I've got a review for you guys of the Celestron LT Lithium Ion Power Tank. For those of you that, that might not be familiar, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, let's get to looking at this then. Um, overall, pretty simple battery pack. As far as I know, this is the smallest lithium ion that Celestron makes that they offer. Um, let's just kind of go over the features and kind of get into testing it then. So basically what this thing has is a single USB port for charging your phone, tablet or whatnot, anything that's USB powered, and a DC plug. The way that the DC plug works is it comes with a cable to plug into here and directly into any Celestron telescope that they currently make anyway. They'll use the same type of connection. You could probably get an adapter for, you know, a different types of scopes as well. And it does come with an AC uh, charger to actually charge the battery itself. Um, so Celestron claims that this thing lasts for uh, eight hours to power a scope. Uh, we will actually be testing that in a little bit, so we'll get into that. And uh, they claim a four hour charge time. I was actually able to charge this pretty easily in three hours. So um, if anything, they're, you know, their estimate is kind of conservative. The neat, the really neat thing about these batteries that are actually made, you know, by Celestron, because you can get these battery packs that aren't made, you know, specifically for a telescope, but the neat thing about these is that they do come with a strap to strap it onto your tripod, like, so I really enjoy that, that's really kind of cool, uh, you know, it's kind of out of the way, it's close to the scope, if the scope is light enough, uh, like the Celestron uh, 127 SL uh, Mac that we're going to be testing this with today, you know, a lot of times I'll just leave one of these strapped onto the tripod and, you know, you just grab the whole scope, take it out the back door and you're ready to observe, right? So anyhow, yeah, let's get to testing this thing and see how this thing actually performs. See if it actually lasts for eight hours like Celestron claims it does. Alrighty guys, so I've got the uh, scope plugged in here. Um, I did... Uh, a fake alignment so basically the reason that I did what I mean by fake alignment is that I you know initialize it so now it's tracking the sky uh, battery like I said is fully charged and we're starting the timer now so I'll kind of uh, I'll kind of try to run this thing you know every so often by just moving the motors you know to kind of simulate a slew and yeah we'll basically see how long the battery will last. Alright guys, so um, we are at about an hour and 46 minutes. Battery is still showing fully charged. Um, I'm getting kind of bored, so I'm going to test out a few other things with this battery while the scope is uh, still kind of running here. So first and foremost, uh, I've already had the bigger brother to this, like the round version of this, right? And for whatever reason, that thing would not power both the DC port and the USB port. So I'm gonna check it out. This is my daughter's uh, iPad, it's at 36%. So I wanna try it out and see if this thing will actually power both USB and DC because the bigger version of this did not which was very very disappointing <clears throat> so plugging in the USB now okay uh, it looks like you have to hit that yellow or orange button there but uh, we are actually charging so it appears like because you know the scope's on right iPad is charged and it appears like you can use both USB and DC with this, which is very cool. So I'm going to actually leave this on charge just to make sure that it actually does charge. Um, and then, so the other thing that I'm kind of curious about is how much, uh, you know, you could power off of the DC plug there, right? These mounts, uh, they don't really, you know, use too many amps. They only use, I think, like about 3 amps or so, even when it's slowing, which is very low. Um, so I'm going to plug in my um, do controller. This is one that I actually made myself. Um, and uh, see if it could power this because this thing, um, 
I think, I mean, it, it draws much more power than like what the mount usually does. So let me plug this in and we'll try it out. All right, so I'm shutting off the scope right now because so, I need to unplug this to plug in the splitter, plug in the scope back in, plug in the do controller in. And right off the bat, the light is on on the do controller, so that's a good sign, but we'll see if it actually heats up the element. And let me try to start the scope back up. Yeah, scope's lighting up, so we're good to go there. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Looks like we're good. Motor still run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, Duke controller heat up the element, make sure that's running, but I think we're uh, pretty good kind of good to go um, and one thing that I did just notice uh, the battery indicator did go down by one light and this is at about two hours uh, and I did just plug in all the stuff so let me get the motors running on this again I'm gonna check to make sure that this is heating up and it actually does feel warm already but I'll, I'll give it a few more minutes so uh, yeah, let me mess around with this for a sec here and uh, give you guys an update on how this is all going. Alrighty guys, so uh, checking this stuff out. Uh, looks like the tablet's still charging. It was I think at like 36% I said. It's already at 41, so that's good to go. Uh, dew heater is definitely heating up. I mean this thing is warm, so that's working. The light's still on on that. And the mount is running just like it was before so it's not like you know short on power even with running a pretty uh, power hungry day heater so um yeah i you know pretty impressed with this thing um so anyhow we'll kind of resume the i'll, I'll kind of uh, i will unplug the dew heater because uh, that is pretty power hungry i don't think it'll be fair to leave that plugged in i will uh leave the tablet you know plugged into charge because it needs to get charged anyway Make sure that that's uh, working, and uh, yeah, we'll check back in a minute. Alrighty, guys. So we are down to one uh, light bar deal on that. My watch is actually dead, but it's already nighttime, as you can see. Um, it's been over ten hours that the scope has been running; still works fine. Um, I'd say this thing probably still has like you know at least an hour of runtime uh, in here. So anyhow, uh, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty darn good runtime for uh, for this battery. So 10 hours worth of runtime off of this thing, not too bad, right? Now I will say that, um, chances are if you're using this like in the real world type of situation, it probably won't last 10 hours for you as even with this scope because you're probably going to be slowing from target to target a lot more. Like I probably ran the scope like I don't know once an hour, like the motors I mean. We did charge an iPad off of it though, so that kind of made up a little bit for it. But realistically, I will say that I think uh, Celestron's estimate of about eight hours is pretty accurate. I'd say that you know with you know moderate use, that's probably what you'd get out of it. Uh, so that's really good. Um, and if you logically think about it, I mean, eight hours, you know, you might think that that's one night, but chances are, I mean, unless you're really hardcore, you're probably not going to be observing for eight hours in one night. <laughs> I mean, I certainly don't, you know, usually, you know, I'm, you know, kind of done after three, four hours, even, you know, for a longer session. So I would say, I mean, this thing will last you for a good couple of nights uh, with, you know, like, I'd say more normal use of observing for, let's say, like two hours. I mean, it's like a week worth of observing that you could get out of this thing with just running your scope. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. And charge time is pretty quick on this. Um, again, uh, I think this is kind of, you know, like for me, a uh, worthwhile investment just because of the small size straps onto your tripod. Pretty cool battery. I would recommend it. I do like that this one, you can charge both USB and DC at the same time. Uh, as I mentioned with the bigger one, for some reason, I, I, at least I couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, cool battery. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.